tremendously jaw-dropping views of the Milky Way by the Meerkat South Africa telescopes, revealing mysterious structures dangling all over the place in space. This is the new Meerkat image, South African Radio Astronomy Observatory, SARO, released today, well, yesterday, that is, January 26th, the new Meerkat telescope image of the center of our Milky Way galaxy showing radio emissions from a region with unprecedented clarity and depth. The international team behind the work is publishing the initial science highlights from the image in the Astrophysical Journal. And uh, the article is accompanied by public release of data to the worldwide astronomical community for further scientific exploration. I mean, what is this? What are these filaments? And where are they heading? The, the question is, why are they there? And where are they heading? Now, the image captured radio emission from numerous phenomena, including outbursting stars, stellar nurseries, and chaotic region, region around the 4 million solar mass, supermassive black hole that lurks in the center of our galaxy. 25,000 light years from Earth, radio waves penetrating the intervening dust that obscures the view of the region at other wavelengths, Meerkat's innovative design, sensitivity, and geographical vantage point have been the keys to producing the remarkable image, which reveal images which reveals the supernova remnants, the expanding shells of material left behind when massive stars end their lives explosively, including rare, almost perfect spherical example of providing a, a astronomers the best insight yet into the population of mysterious radio filaments found nowhere else. Dr. Ian Hayward from University of Oxford, Rhodes University, Saro, says, I spent a lot of time looking at this image and the process of working on it, and I never get tired of it. He's the lead author of the study. He says, when I show this image to people who might be new to radio astronomy or otherwise unfamiliar with it, I always try to emphasize that radio imaging has not always been this way, and what a leap for forward meerkat really is in the terms of capabilities. It's been a true privilege to work over the years with colleagues from Saro who built this fantastic telescope, he says. Uh, so these are the jaw-dropping images using the meerkat telescope in South Africa, showing thousands of strands of magnetic filaments measuring up to 150 light years in length in neat regular arrangements. Please support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box. So hundreds of filaments, 150 light years in length, neat regular arrangements. Uh, that's 10 times the number of these strands that we knew about previously, and they add important statistical data that might finally help us to understand their nature, a puzzle since their discovery back in the 1980s. We have studied individual filaments for a long time with a myopic view, said astrophysicist Farid Youssef Zadeh of Northwestern University, who initially discovered these filaments. He says, now we finally see the big picture. A panoramic view filled with an abundance of filaments, and obviously you can see what difference a, a, a proper mi a telescope does. Now, just examining, he said, a few filaments makes it difficult to draw any real conclusion about what they are and where they came from. This is a watershed in furthering our understanding of these structures, he said. Although it's only around 25,000 light years away, which is not very far in cosmological terms, the center of the Milky Way galaxy is very difficult to see into. It's shrouded by dense clouds of dust and gas, and these block the wavelengths of light, including the optical range. But we can use technology to tweak our vision into invisible wavelengths, he said. So the Meerkat, operated by South Africa Radio Astronomy Observatory, SARO, one of the world's most advanced radio telescopes since opening its eye back in 2016, it's been giving us 
unprecedented set of insights into the galactic center. So this latest, the latest image showing uh, it was constructed from 200 hours of observational data collected over three years. Zadev, uh, Yosef Zadeh and his team then used the technique to remove the background images, revealing magnetic strings distributed in clusters around the galactic center. It's not clear, though, what they are or how they came into existence. What do we know? What we do know is that they contain cosmic ray electrons spinning around in filaments of magnetic fields at close to light speeds. So these new images allow the researchers to find out a little bit more about the strands, bringing us a step closer to understanding them. Yusef explains if you were from another planet, for example, and you encountered one very tall person on Earth, you might assume all people are tall. But if you do statistics across a population of people, you can find the average height, he says. He says that's exactly what we're doing. We can find the strength of magnetic fields, their lengths, their orientations, and the spectrum of radiation. He says we know that the magnetic fields are amplified along the entire length of all the filaments. This new data also reveals previously unknown supernova remnants. It's been different radiation signature for the filaments. This means we can rule out the supernova remnant as a likely progenitor of these filaments. In 2019, previous meerkat data revealed the existence of giant radio bubbles. They extended above and below the galactic plane, separate from the gamma ray Fermi bubbles discovered back in 2010. It's possible the filaments are related to the radio bubbles, but it's possibly this possibility will need to be explored further in the future. New data reveals a new mystery. The filaments are distributed in groups or clusters, and within those clusters, they're very evenly spaced, like the strings of a harp, the researcher said. So how is this possible, evenly spaced in the clusters? And here you can see them again. Why are they evenly spaced? So there's a lot of questions that arise with all this. Uh, they re almost resemble the regular spacing in solar loops, Yusef Zadev says. We still don't know why they come in clusters or understand how they separate, and we don't know how these regular spacings happen. Every time we answer one question, multiple other questions arise. We also don't know the mechanism that accelerates electrons in the magnetic filaments. It's possible the filaments might be related to strange magnetic filament discovered last year. Uh, this is emitted, emitting radiation in both radio and X-ray wavelengths. The next step, we have to study each filament in turn and characterize its properties for a full catalog that will allow in-depth statistical analysis. We are certain, he says, certainly one step closer to a fuller understanding, but science is a series of progress on different levels. We're hoping to get to the bottom of it, but more observations and theoretical analyses are needed. A full understanding of complex objects take time. This was uh, in uh, astrophys accepted to Astrophysical Journal Letters and also on um, the data also on uh, released by Sarah O. And um, okay, a lot, of, a lot of weird things, a lot of questions rising as to why they are there. So these best telescopes expand our horizon in unexpected ways, says Dr. Fernando Camilo. Saro Chief, he says, it's a testament to the skill and dedication of our Southern African colleagues who built Meerkat that it's making such remarkable discoveries in one of the most intensively studied corners of the radio sky. The image we're sharing today is rich with scientific potential, and we are very looking much forward to further surprises as the astronomical community mines these data for years to come. So more will be coming concerning all these Strange filaments, some of them are like the cords of a harp. I'll leave links below for you for this on Sarao, the Sarao site, and also Science Alert. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support.